What is happening, everybody? We are ready for day two of SHOT Show 2023 right here in Las Vegas, and it's coming at you right now. What's happening? Look here. I've got the one and only X-Ring right hey, here, dude. I appreciate it. Right. Man, good to see you. Thanks for and, having me um, It's. I've been telling everybody, it's nice to see everybody in person because yeah. we spend all of our time in a studio in our office, and we don't we don't get to see other human beings. So it's yeah. nice to get to come to trade shows like this and uh, get to see new products. And you guys have got some really cool new stuff. First and foremost, I want to talk about this stitch right here. Okay, manual stitch. Manual stitch. So... That's Everybody's insane. been asking for it. That's insane right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love the ergonomics of the stitch anyways. Yes. You can choke up on it. You can hold it back here. But the action on that being Super a manual. Smooth. So what do you guys call on the lock here? What, what? So that lock is called the ram lock system. Uh, it is a block system that blocks on the back side of the blade. Hence the name. Right. Uh, that is patent pending, and I think you're going to see that utilized quite a bit as... You guys might know about the new one that's coming out along with this one as well. This does have the Bowler M390 MK steel. So let's talk about that too. So that's a special steel just for you guys. That's correct. Um, so you guys have worked with Bowler for a long time now. We have. And uh, they come up with this, uh, this special composition of M390. It's yep. still M390, but um, it's a little bit different. It's got some a uh, little bit new properties, better properties. Yeah, it's been tweaked so that it's better for a high polish finish. Uh, which we have an example of that just makes it uh, just makes it really pop. Uh, better edge retention. Um, like I said, it's just tweaked a little bit, but it's still Bowler M390. That's awesome. That's insane. Um, and still got the corrosion resistance, all the other th things that you love about M390. I mean, Correct. there's a reason why it's been one of the top, as far as I'm concerned, top three blade steels for yeah. as long as it has. I mean, Correct. it's been out for a while. But still, there's not really a lot they can. T I mean, you you think about the best blade steels out there. You think M390, you think 20 CV, yep. um, and now Magna Cut. So, but M390, I mean, that's what everybody wants. That's yeah, what everybody's looking stuff. for. So, it's in addition to evolved. this, we've got some more manuals here. Yes, we do. That is insane. Yeah. Like, and this one I love simply for how the weight works there. Like it. The action is just insane because of how well it's weighted all the way through the blade. And, I mean, it's just so easy and so smooth. I'm going to share something with you guys that I haven't shared with any other interviewers or anything else. Um, because I am, I am getting a lot of questions about, is it on bearings? Do you think it's on bearings or not? It feels like it is. It is. Okay. So there's 32 bearings. We have uh, 16 on each side. They're staggered uh, silica carbide bearings. That's why it's so smooth. And, you know, we're really proud of that knife. It uses the same ram lock system. Right. 32 bearings. That's yes, I, don't, I don't know of any other knife that uses that many bearings yeah. for their pivot. That's insane. Now, once again, these are prototypes. You are going to see a little bit of variations. Um, I know one of the things that's been addressed already is the pocket clip. So I'm actually carrying and have been carrying one of the MSIs. Uh -huh. um, and it's a great carry. Love it. I've, been, I've used it. This has got scratches all over it and everything else. <laughs> um, but a lot of people requested something that was a little deeper in the carry pocket. You know, okay, carry pocket. I can see that, yeah. So that's been redesigned. That's already done. It's finished. Uh, I don't have an example of that. So just keep in mind, these are these are all prototypes. Right. Uh, this is serial number one, actually. I think that's number two or three. Wow. So you'll see a few changes here and there, but for the most part, this is it. Wow, that is cool. Now you talked about uh, M390 MK having uh, taking a better uh, high polish finish, and we've got an example of that right here. Take a right. look at that up close right there. That is absolutely insane. Like you could you could shave with that. Not just the blade. You could yeah. you could what? You could literally shave with it. You, you could look at yourself. That that is a mirror right there. I'm just gonna check out my hair real quick and make sure it's all in place. Yeah. There you go. I mean that is gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber handles. Yep. Now the last one we're gonna talk about, and I love this one. This one's been out for a, a little while now. Yeah, the Glycon. Um, the Glycon, and so we're talking a, a really cool design here. That's got, it's still got. The dual action it's a dual action out the front auto Correct. but it's got a few different ways you can actuate it so uh i didn't have actually a good hold yeah. on it there but uh, so you can use the side or you can use the top that you 
you're used to yeah. from a dual action out the front auto. Um, but this thing has been doing really well for you guys. Like, it has, and you know the thing is, is, someone that's not new to Microtech, you know, they don't have that thumb strength. Right. And so it gives you a couple of different options on how to be able to manipulate the knife. Yeah. And I think what you did the first time where you did your thumb and your forefinger and, and pulled it, oh, yeah. like on both. So people that have, yeah. let's say until they build up that thumb strength, oh, absolutely. retracting it, they can do it that way rather than yeah. what we see with two hands. And if they're used to something like the ram lock or like yep. a uh, axis lock from Benchmade, something like that, that's going to be very familiar to us. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That is gorgeous. Now, like I said, that one's been out for a little while. Yep. When can we expect to see the Stitch and the MSI uh, in, in stock and on store shows? I have a date. I don't want to say that date, but I will tell you, I'll, I'll be pretty broad about it, and I'll say you'll expect to see them in February. That's awesome. That's pretty Dude, close. That is I mean, super today exciting. Today being the 18th, yeah, uh, you're going to start seeing some examples of these. Uh, do have some price points set. I was about to say, so so what are we looking at price-wise on the, on the standard ones with the G10 there? Okay, so we're going to have a couple of different options on the MSI, of course. Uh, you're going to have injection molded scales. Okay. That should be a sub-$200 knife. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. And this is a great way to introduce someone that's new to the brand. Yes. Uh, get them into it. But, and not everyone wants injection molded. Maybe they right. want the G10. So the G10, we have released the price. It will be 250 It's the okay. MSRP that's on that. That's insane. That's, that's amazing. Exactly. Uh, we're really excited about this knife. And like I said, I have been carrying this for a while. This yeah. is actually the one I've been carrying. And you can tell. I don't want to show how much it's scratched up. Uh, but I definitely use my knives. And then, you know, being able to have carbon fiber options, that's going to add to it right. as well. Now, the stitch manual, you can expect a non-custom because that is a custom. Uh, the non-custom is going to be 340 Okay. So I think that's a great price point. Absolutely. And something else to be excited about. Absolutely. That is awesome. So I, I, I'm still blown away by the price points on these because that's, yeah. that's going to be a, a, a nice entry point for, like you said, a lot of people that aren't familiar with the brand maybe right. to get started in Microtech. I think that's phenomenal, and uh, I think you guys are going to do really well with these. I'm well, super excited. It. Absolutely. Well, we and appreciate your time. Thanks for coming out. Absolutely. Thank you. And, folks, you saw it here, and you're going to see these in store very soon, like you said. We're looking at February, so that's right. stay tuned for all of that. We'll see you for more right here at SHOT 2023. Have a good one. Folks, I'm here with Mari Ford. Mari, good to see hey, you, TC. as always. Good to see you Absolutely. at the SHOT Show, man. At the SHOT Show. Yeah. So we were we were supposed to do this last year, and right? It didn't work out. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't make it. The world um, was different last year, but yep. the world seems back this year. That's I, exciting. We are we are definitely back to normal now, and this yeah. place is packed, and we're having a blast. Yeah. And you guys have got some really cool new stuff. Now we've already talked about the small Congress, which yes. is the, the the big release for your vault right. pattern this year. That's our big vault release. I can tell you. So really, we kind of dropped that. Uh, as you saw it, we yep. dropped that on Monday. Uh, we've had a huge response to that. People love it. It's very core case traditional. Right. You know, I think uh, when you think of Congresses, I think you just naturally think of case. This is a small one, uh, so like three and an eighth, but you got the two blade, you got the four blade, and everything. So we yeah. got a bunch of variations. I know they're on your website now. I think. Yep. Uh, I think they had those up. So they're up and ready. Get in line for those is what I would suggest. Absolutely. Now, also, so we've seen the Kinzua. We've yes. seen the Tonto, and we've seen the Drop Point now. Yep. But now we've got some new additions to the Kinzua line. Yes. So one of the things that we added this year, which we're super excited about, so, um, you know, we're owned by Zippo. Zippo is world class in decorations and, and a lot of embellishment. So this is going to be our Deco Kinzu Custom Program. So you're going to see that, first that has a DLC coated blade. So yeah. you that diamond-like coating, that black blade. Uh, you're going to see that photo imaging. So we're doing some photo imaging. We're also doing some uh, laser engraving. It's almost hard to tell apart. I ask them, you know, what's the difference in a photo image and a laser? They said, really, it, it's kind of the file you start from. One's a photo. Right. Uh, so you're going to see that. Uh, and one is going to actually have just a laser artwork. Right. Um, that can be done on the mark side, the pile side. Uh, the one you've got there, that's going to be our camo. Uh, that's done on all surfaces. So both sides of the blade, it can be done mark side, pile side. Uh, depending on the artwork, uh, we've got six that we're starting out with. Um, that one's just a Cerakote. That's you know. cool right that there. That is the first case Cerakote knife uh, that I'm aware of. And right. I, I've, I've been around for a while, so I don't know of any other that we've done. Uh, you've got that uh, 
Tonto Blade. You've got that DLC coating in that. Yeah. Uh, no artwork in that, just the just the just the Cerakote just the finish. Cerakote. And it, I, I tell you what, it looks fantastic. It feels really good in yes. the hand, yes. and that's going to add to that handle materials durability. Yes. Too. Uh, you know, we're a big fan. I, I know you and your uh, certainly your customers are a big fan of Cerakote. You know, I said this as we're getting into the modern stuff. We're we're kind of learning that, but as we look a little further in at Cerakote, there's there's a world of opportunity there. Uh, we're, we're getting it figured out. We're working on stuff with them, so so that's exciting. You know, we've still got our Marilla. You know, this was the knife of the year in 2021 yeah. at the Blade Show. Uh, this is the orange version, kind of partial to orange myself. Of course. Uh, yeah. But we've got this, uh, and this one's still doing well. All of our modern stuff, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about that. And the new the new drop that we didn't talk about on camera. Uh, T. Steve's giving me a hard time. He's like, wait a minute, where was that? <laughs> and I had to remind him, I said, Man, this sample showed up the day of SHOT Show. Um, this is our West line, so this is going to be an anodized aluminum. This is a liner lock, not a frame lock. The, right. other, two, the other two are frame locks. Uh, you got the S35 steel in that with the, with the dual thumb stud, the thumb stud on both sides. Um, you got that stonewash finish. Really, if you look at that blade geometry, uh, you look at all the swedging and all the lines in that. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Um, but that's assisted opening. Yeah. You know, others are flippers, others are flippers, but uh, but that's got the assisted opening. It's got the deep carry pocket clip, uh, anodized aluminum. We're going to have that in a clear anodized aluminum. We're going to have it in blue. We're going to have it in black, and we're going to have it in red out of yeah. the gate. Um, you know, it, it's a. I, I love it. You know, I've, I've been carrying. I've been carrying the Marilla uh, since Shot Show. I've carried that. I'm like, yep. I love the assist. I love just the feel of it. it Feels like it's got a little more, a uh, little more substantial. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a it's little, solid. L- little yeah. more solid even than than some of our others. So, uh, I love it. I love the jimping kind of at your finger yeah. coil there. And the um, blade shape is really, really cool yes. looking. Like it, it just looks super sleek yes. and super sexy all the way through. I mean, it just looks like a, a sports car. Yeah, it really does. You know, as as our buddy, I always reference. I, I forget. I guess I learned more from Tony than I realized. But he would always say, you know, man, that's sexy or. Yeah. You know, look at the lines on that. So uh-huh. uh, we're learning a lot from that. But this is really, it, it's kind of really helping our position in that in that modern field. Yeah. And when you look at that, that's the West line. And you, we may get questions on like, where do you come up with these names? Uh, I think we talked about it when we did the Marilla and the Kinzu. Uh, these are things that are significant to Bradford, which really drives home the fact that these are USA made. Right. They're made in Bradford, Pennsylvania by the same craftsmen that are making you know, the, the small Congress and the yeah. trappers. Uh, so it's something that, that we set out to do, our folks said they could do. And man, we're kind of raising the bar oh, on ourselves here a little bit. Absolutely. So, uh, so that's super exciting. And uh, you know, I always remind folks, yeah, we've got we've got some real modern stuff and we are, we are pumped about that. Um, the core of case is gonna be slip joints, uh, but the core of case on some items is gonna be, is gonna be shifting. So um, you're gonna be able to get more of this stuff uh, but we continue. You know, we yeah. showed in your video. We got 73 new items in the catalog. We got spring supplements. Uh, we're going to make sure our core case collector is taken care of, and that core case consumer. Uh, but we got a lot of folks that are really responding Absolutely. well to these modern stuff. Absolutely. Now, you talk about modern. This is actually, I would say, for case, this is a modern fixed blade. It, it, it is a it is a more modern style, so it's not like the stack leather washer. You know, some right. of the things that we're able to do. And I think this year is going to be real exciting for us on fixed plates. So some of the things that we're able to do now with the water jet, you know, we don't, everything is not just the large presses. So we got water jets. We've got, obviously we've got a lot of great grinding equipment, uh, but we're able to do something. That solid flat taper, uh, just a flat grind on that. Oh yeah. Um, you know, you, you see the kind of the gauge of that steel. That's a really oh, nice, it's, it's really super nice thick. thick steel. Got a natural wood handle, uh, genuine USA made leather sheath. Uh, so you're going to have you're going to have that. We're going to have that in three different handles. They're all natural hardwood. One's going to be kind of the brown. We've got the kind of the orange color and the natural. Um, but you know, TC people love case fixed blades. Yeah. And they love our traditionals with the stack leather. We're still doing those. Uh, but we're looking at with our new technology. Maybe we're going to have some fun with fixed blades this year. So Heck yeah. This is just scratching the surface, and from there, uh, and these are great. I mean, these these feel great, man. Yeah. They really. Uh, you feel like you got something in oh, when yeah. you're holding that, but substantial. And 
And they so, probably are more on the modern style than mm -hmm. that than that uh, classic traditional. When can we expect to see these and the West Line? And w so when can we expect actually, to see these in? So, you know, I think we said in the video, we're hoping that some of our Congress will start shipping February, early March. Right. Uh, so I would encourage, obviously, order, make sure you're in line to get that or at least notified to get it when it comes in. Right. Um, all of our Deco Kinzus are going to ship, we're planning 1st of April. Same with these fixed plates, Hunter. Uh, Westline's the same way. So we're uh, we're knee deep in it. We're in the throes of it right now. We've got parts Absolutely. going through. We've got technology being done. Uh, a lot of great things. So really in this first quarter and then that first part of April, you're going to see this stuff coming from Case. Couldn't be more excited. And this is just getting started, right? We're, we're, Absolutely. Yeah. The SHOT Show, one of the things that I think that kind of resonated with me and you just said it. So last year things were still, you know, a little uncertain. Uh, we didn't have a spring, summer, or fall supplement. We only right. had a holiday. We didn't have the amount of new product that we have. So not only is uh, the SHOT Show back, but in a lot of ways our new products are back. Yeah. So we are, we're super excited about that. And we know it's gonna be a, we're gonna have a great time this year. We're gonna do great with Smokey. Uh, we've we've met with you guys earlier, and so yep. we're meeting again tomorrow. So, a lot in the wheelhouse uh, for we what go. we're going to do at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and uh, and man, we're just glad you stopped by. Absolutely, and we got dinner tonight too. Yeah, Ooh, nice. Yes, nice. absolutely. Shot show, you get one meal a day, and it's usually really good. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you so yes. much, man. And it's always good to see you, and really excited to see all this new stuff coming from Case, and it's nice to see things getting back to normal. Absolutely. We were ready for it. We're excited about it. Uh, we're glad we got the, the resources and the venues to uh, yep. to kind of get this out to everybody because SHOT Show is a closed industry event. Yeah. It's not open to the public, even though the public hears about SHOT Show all the time. Right. You guys bring SHOT Show right to them. That's, that's what we're here for. You don't for. even have to leave your couch. Exactly. Vegas is not bad. But, uh, <laughs> the food is good. Food is uh, good. The food is good. So uh, You can also get in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to come on a budget. You got you got to uh, yep. self control. Exactly. Self control in Vegas is exactly. probably the key. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's exciting. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys tonight at dinner. Yes, and, sir. And we'll be back over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works to talk about some spring stuff really soon. Right? Very soon, absolutely, folks. Stay tuned for more from right here at Shot 2023. Folks, I've got the one and only Craig from Tops Knives. Craig, thank you so much for hey, joining us today. Of course. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day. I know you guys are busy. It's SHOT Show. Yep. And uh, this place is hectic. Uh, I guess it's back to normal. It is and, very much um, back to normal. We are, we are really excited to be here. Excited to see what you guys have. So we talked to you guys back uh, at Blade Show West. Mm -hmm. And we yep. saw some really cool stuff that's uh, that's coming out that's hitting the market really soon. We're going to yep. be having coming in the store really soon. But you even got some stuff that I didn't see there. That's true. Here now. So let's talk about what you guys got have got new going on. Okay. So we've got eight new models uh, that have been previously not debuted anywhere else. Um, first, the ones that I think that I I'm excited about are the dive knives. Oh so, yes. We, being an Idaho company, we're, we're landlocked. We're not really divers. Right. Um, but it's one of the only types of knives that we've never really made before. And so once we started getting into kind of what is a dive knife, what are people looking for, we realized there's actually two different thought schools, if right. you will. There's your scuba divers, which is this kind of thing you're looking at. Right. It's got a, you know, it's got a flat tip. Um, it's not sharpened. Right. It's got a tank tapper is uh, what that flat spot is for. Yep. Uh, experienced divers will hit the tank and mm -hmm. they can kind of tell how much air is left. Exactly. If they're not trusting their gauges. Yep. Um, you got your serrations to be able to cut rope, netting, things like that. Yep. And then kind of a main edge. Um, but all of that is with a, with a pretty aggressive handle um, that should be secure even underwater where you might be kind of cold or slippery. Right. Um, Wearing so, gloves, something yeah. like that. Can't really tactically feel yeah. the best in the world. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah. So, that's, and what's the blade steel on this one? Uh, we don't know yet. There's a couple that we're looking at. Um, I don't want to say anything yet because I don't, don't, <laughs> right? don't want to no. say one and then have them be like, hey, why didn't you use that? So, I understand. I understand. Uh, Absolutely. Obviously, not going to be 1095. Right. For those who are already asking. <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, we're working on that. What we no, don't I fully want to expected do, it to be 1095. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what we don't want to do is use a steel that is 
gonna we want it to be a good knife right you know and that's one of the big trade-offs with dive knives a lot of times is if you want it not to rust it's not going to be a very good edge or it's not going to stay very long. like right. you're going to have some issues we're trying to find a steel that will that will have maybe not the best corrosion resistance but still be a good blade steel right so that's, absolutely. that's kind of where we're trying to figure it out absolutely and this so, is the other version here yes the second school of thought for dive knives is like spear fishers oh so, yeah um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's kind of been a resurgence in, in spear fishing and, uh, especially like free diving. Oh yeah. And so these people, they're, they're in one breath, they've got to go down, find a fish, shoot it and get it to the surface. Yeah. Well, if they shoot something that's heavy and going to fight, they need something to dispatch it. Right. Right. So they want a pointy tip. Right? Yeah. They want something that they can stab into the, into the skull. Right. End it quickly and then surface. And uh, at the same time, they never know if they're going to be in shark infested waters or you don't know what's going to happen. And once you get the blood of a fish around where you oh, are, yeah, absolutely show up. So that's why this one's kind of more aggressive. It, it can be double or single edged. Um, it's still got serrations to be able to cut uh, rope or uh, other, other fabrics, basically. And then uh, a cutter for smaller cord. Yeah, uh, on the back right there. Yeah, so. and the ergonomics of this thing are phenomenal. And yeah. when I first, when you first handed it to me, I was thinking, okay, well, this is just going to be a one-way knife. But then I flipped it around, and it's still really good right there. Like yeah. that fits into the palm right there perfectly. It's just ergonomically, that's beautiful. It'll I mean, be that's... great for stabbing fish in the head. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry if that sounds violent, but that's what you got to do hey. when you're getting food. Exactly. You got to so. eat. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, those I'm, I'm excited about. Absolutely. We have some other cool stuff. Uh, I think you know the guy that designed this one. Yeah. Uh, he goes by Bushcraft Kelso. Yep. And uh, he brought us basically like a wooden, just a piece of wood that he had whittled down and gave it to us at Blade Show. That sounds like, like Bushcraft Kelso. He's like, right hey, there. what do you think? And, and I think he was just trying to get input. And Leo was like, I'll make that. Nice. And, and I don't think he I don't think he even expected that. He was more just like, what do you think about this? And uh, so that's what we're working on with him. We're calling it the Wood Nymph for I now. I like that. Um, kind of a little whittler. Yep. Nice little, nice little camp knife. Um, it would be a good EDC also. Oh, absolutely. So. Absolutely it would. Now, as far as this one, when can we expect to maybe see this coming out? Um, most of these I have no idea. Okay. We... We finished them last week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So we still got to do some testing. There will right. definitely be some changes, like the front of that handle, that scallop. I don't think it's quite right. We're probably right. going to do more like a flat cut on Okay, that. so yeah, instead um, of like a hollowed out, rounded yeah. semicircle or something, yeah. be more so, flat. So yeah, yeah, there'll be some changes on these as we go. Uh, but ideally, we'll have everything out this year. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, for the golfers out there, We've got a divot yes. tool based on our mini Scandi knife. Absolutely. We're calling that the three putt. Um, they must have named it after <laughs> my golf game. So it's got the uh, it's got the divot tool. It's got the, the scraper for the clubs on the yeah. back there, and then, of course a bottle opener. That is awesome. And I mean, we just went to Top Golf last night, so this, that's got me thinking about golf. Anyways, yeah. that is perfect right there. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. dig that. It's a, fun, it's a fun little tool, lightweight, something you can just clip on your golf bag and go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That is really freaking cool. Um, so there's a this guy out there. His name is Josh Navarrete. Uh -huh. He's a custom knife maker out of Oregon. He was actually the first Hispanic guy to win an episode of Forge and Fire. Uh, he is... Uh, he's also working on this program for veterans to be able to go and do, basically use his shop, his tools, to make a knife. And uh, kind, of a, kind of as a therapy thing. Yeah, know? yeah. Take a few hours break from your, from your worries and cares and just beat on steel for a while. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, so we're, we're teaming up with, with him on this one. That's his design. Um, just a beefy, just a oh, yeah. little tank of a knife. Absolutely. I mean, this this definitely has tops written all over it. Like, right. That that is classic tops right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, full tang. Full tang. As normal. Yeah. yeah. Love that. that yeah, a big wide so, blade. Yeah. 
We are working on, uh, yeah, yeah, let's grab that one. Oh, this one, I don't know why, but this one just caught my eye, the simplicity of it. Um, I love the shape. It's got a very uh, Kephart feel to it, yep. Um, yep. which is, I mean, a classic design in and of itself. But I love the simplicity of just a straight handle. Yeah. I mean. So the guy that, uh, that brought us that design, he's from Ireland. Uh, Eagle Ridge Survival is, uh, is his page on Instagram. I believe he does survival classes and uh, just kind of like general bushcrafting things. Right. Um, when he first sent it to us, we're, we're looking at this like, that's you know that'll, that'll be a great knife it looked really plain and we we're we we're kind of at first thinking of ways to jazz it up and once we actually cut it out of cut it out and made a prototype i don't think we want to change anything really right the, the handle's just great no matter how you hold it um it's got the 90 degree spine the tip is is nicely lined with the with the handle um modified scanty grind it's just a just a great just overall yeah knife. absolutely yeah i'm digging that yeah there's a, a couple of years ago, we released a fillet knife. Um, there were only two, two things that anybody so ever light. said. Yep. Two things that anybody ever said about it was the handle was a little too small and they wanted a little more flex in the blade. So we made a second version and it's thinner and I uh, got a much bigger handle. Right. So the two, the two issues that people had are solved. Right. Yeah. That is that is fantastic and super lightweight. I mean, that's going to be a, a great camp knife right there. Camp cooking knife, fillet that's knife. It. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So anybody who's been anybody who knows the uh, we have a couple of hunting knives called the Camp Creek. Right. There's one called the Camp Creek Fire Edition. We took that handle and used the exact same handle for this. Nice. So um, it's something that we could end up doing as a set or right. handles that are swappable and things like that. Absolutely. So. That is really freaking cool. Yep. Um, and then the one that I'm probably most excited about, this one This one we have debuted before, but uh, this is for Ed Calderon, uh, Ed's Manifesto. So I guess actually on Instagram right now, he's Manifesto Radio Podcast. Uh, his other <laughs> page got shut down just because he shares stuff that you know what that people that, don't like to see exactly and that, uh, honestly and unfortunately that's kind of what we run into in this industry in the guns Ooh. and knives industry yeah. um media is not always kind to us but yeah. we have to figure yeah. it out and uh yeah that's yeah. that's a fantastic looking little so knife. this guy he designs things based off of his life experience and he's He's got a soft spot for kitchen knives, fruit knives, paring knives, things yeah. like that. Um, basically, the design he sent us is based off a paring knife that he has. That he has uh, made it a little more, like a little bit more tapered on the on the blade, uh, so a little more stabby, if you will. Right. Um, the other thing he did on the handle with that little cutout in the back, the way he typically holds a knife is tip down. With the blade pointing towards you, so but hold it, but hold it, tip down. But like this. There you go. So now, if, where your index finger is. Oh. That is an easy way to be able to kind of figure out where things are and oh. kind of feel that. When an you index pick it up. point. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so that, that is, is his preferred striking hold. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, and it stands to reason with you know self-defense. You strike and you pull. Yep. Um, yep. So yeah, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. And I tell you what, and I've said this about a few knives, but I like to carry my own steak knife with me, oh, like if right I'm on. if I'm gonna right order on. steak or something. And uh, this would make a great personal steak knife to yes, carry to would. a restaurant. Yes, it would. Um, and that it's would unassuming. Be. It doesn't look yeah super tactical. Exactly. You know, it's not people aren't gonna look at you funny when you take it out. Right. But. You'll get the job done when you need it to. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Absolutely. And of course, I see my favorite sitting over here that I'm still waiting on yes. right here. Like this one right here. I, at uh, at Blade West, I, I threatened to steal this one. And I, 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 made, I made several attempts to do so <laughs> without getting caught. And it, it didn't work out for me. But, uh, dude, I am so stoked about this. Yep. Now, this one's still uh, coming very, very soon, right? Yes, our sheaths should arrive within the next, I think, three to four weeks. We're supposed to get the sheaths 
in the shop, and as soon as they get there, it's it's coming out. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. Yep. I'm super stoked. And yeah. dude, this whole line, this lineup looks fantastic. Of course, we saw this one at Blade West. Yep. Um, yep. We saw that one at Blade West, I believe. You did? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that one right there as well. Super excited for all of this stuff, dude. Thank you so much. Of course. And uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know uh, a lot's going on right now, so we no, appreciate we, uh, it. We always appreciate when you guys stop by. Absolutely. Yep. Folks, stay tuned for more from right here. Shot 2023. What's happening, everybody? Look who I got here. I got Kenton from Boker. Hey, dude. Good to see you. Absolutely, man. Thank you for taking some time with us. And we've got some really cool new stuff here from Boker coming out this year. Uh, a lot of really cool new stuff, yeah. but like some really uh, some stuff that we're really excited to see here. So you guys, first and foremost, you're coming out with your own automatics. Now, a lot of people know you've seen our Kalashnikov, you've seen our strikes that um, we've had converted to automatics. Right. But you guys are actually coming out with your automatics straight right. from the factory. Yeah, later this year we're going to actually come out with uh, more automatics to kind of complement what we've been bringing out. So that's awesome. All in all, we'll probably have about thirty or forty new models. Wow, that is uh, super exciting. The neat thing about it is we kind of taken lead on that market with a little bit more, you know, products that have been wanting to be converted. Right. You know, we're now going to be able to do that in house. And that is absolutely <laughs> sick, right there. I love that uh, that buoy shaped clip point blade too. So, first off, so these are the uh, Kalashnikov 74s. Correct. And we've got the non-coated blade, and we've got the coated blade, the black coated. D2 tool steel. Nice. Aluminum body, got the rubberized grips. Yeah. Feel great in the hand, incredible action. And so what, what are these uh, gonna be coming out at? So what kind of, what kind of pricing are we talking here? Uh, typical retail. Uh, you're going to be running retail is going to be like 116 for both. Nice. But I mean, it really depends on you know how smoky markets in. Right. Exactly. So we've got those coming out. We've also got, and this has been one of my favorite designs right here, um, has been the Damascus version of this one, Correct. the M4. We took the, the Sherman tank knife and basically made it an EDC model. And so, I, I freaking dig this thing, dude. So we're talking CPM Magna Cut on the blade steel. Correct. Um, nice flat grind on that. Beautiful swedge up top. Got the carbon fiber on the show side. I mean, that thing is just gorgeous. And I tell you what, the M4 is a great design anyways. Yeah. Um, it just, it, it, it fits. It's, it's a great size. It's a perfect uh, fit in the hand. And going the EDC route with that, like, I'll tell you what, the M4 has been one of my favorites, and I, I hate that I didn't actually get one when we had them. I know, I know, and I'm probably going to. The, the one thing about but, the Sherman M4 is we're going to continue to you know, build that knife right. uh, since we have a constant supply of material from the museum. Yeah. And it's going to be a constant partnership. You know, we can we're allowed to build more of that product, and like the the Tiger One or the Measure Schmidt or you know some right. of our other secret products that we're coming out. One uh, requirement that I said in in order to have this knife for this frame, uh, you know, when we're doing the marble carbon fiber, is we actually added in the lanyard area yeah. is actually scrap metal from the original cuts that we did on the blades for the Sherman tank knife. That's wicked. So it does have a. a it, it, it does attribute to it as well. And then we've got another one here that uh, this one's not automatic right now, but it, it is going to be. It will be. It will yes. be. These are the prototypes. <clears throat> so a lot of what you're seeing here, you know, this is the friend that we've got coming out. Uh, two different models. You're running a satin finish. So that's the satin finish right there. We're running a black made finish. And we've also got the black finish here. And. I love the G10 scales. This one is uh, super slim, and I also like what you guys have done with the uh, pocket clip too. Correct. So really deep carry, clip. and uh, it actually goes inside the handle there. Mm -hmm. So if you choose to flip it around or not to have it at all, it's not going to leave a gap right there. Right. It's not going to leave That's, a hole. It's going to be a little more low profile. I mean, yeah. with with drivery handles, you know, it allows a little bit smoother pull out of the pocket. 
uh, with a deep carry, which everybody really, really wants nowadays. Yeah. It allows us to kind of build a knife that's more, more, more EDC friendly right. in a lot of areas. Uh, retail on these are both going to be right around 115 That's full retail again. Absolutely. Now, this one here, i got to say I've been playing with this one, and I've really been kind of uh, airing towards, like, I guess you could say gentlemen's knives. Um, like, more slim. Gentleman tactical. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the way to look at it. And, uh, I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's super classy. Again, magna cut on, bla on the blade steel on that one. Um, got the marble carbon fiber on both sides there. Got the uh, rollerball pocket clip. And uh, what's titanium? Titanium. That's what I was right. about to say. So titanium frames there, and uh, this one is a frame lock, um, but with the, uh, I guess the the cover there, the, the it, inlay. It, it basically keeps the overstretch on it. But yeah. uh, these are made in Germany. Uh, these are made in Zuligan. Um Retail on them is right around four twelve. Uh, you know, some of our pricing just came out, so a lot of people are getting used to our our, our new pricing list that we have. But um, I mean, you're talking about classic boger quality correct. there. I mean, the, the, it doesn't get much better than that. Well, with the, the trappers, the barlows, uh, you know, we'll probably have a tactical stockman come out. You never know. There but we go. A lot of this product now, with especially the single build, uh, single blade builds in Germany, um, we're allowed to, to, to really hype it up. You know, we're, we're taking a, you know, a a simple knife, a simple design knife that we've always had right. in trapper series. We took out all the vowels, apparently, and the uh, and the wording to make it a little bit different, and stand out. But you know, it's it's a fun project for us because again, it really introduces the the higher end aspects. Yeah. You know, the higher end materials that we're going to be using for this year. Now we've got something that's kind of a knife, but kind of something else here. It's not a torture tool. And uh, <laughs> depends on how you use it, right? Yeah, that's true. And so in this format. It acts as a really cool cigar cutter right there, but it's kind of, I don't, I don't even know what to call it. It's its not really a double action, so it pops halfway out there, then you've got another button here that lets it all the way out. That is insanely cool. It, it, uh, kind, of, it kind of folds two purposes of being a cigar cutter and a right. knife. You know, we've had cigar cutters in the past that have just been solely, that's a job. This allows you to carry, you know, one knife, so you know it's a full titanium body, right? Uh, ball bearing with spring loaded system. Um, the, the blade design is actually pretty neat. You know when you're when you're trying to think of what all the use the possible uses for that could be. Oh, absolutely. I mean that's just <laughs> plus you don't have to worry about an over deployment in your pocket or whatnot if you you know bump the button. It's only going to come out that far. Yeah. yeah. So that, that is super cool. I, I am so excited about this one. It's, this well, is I'll too get much you, I'll fun. Get you one. How about Absolutely. <laughs> I am so excited we'll, we'll about that. We'll figure it out. I am so excited. Now, we've saved these for last, and that's because one, these things are super cool. Two, they're kind of near and dear to your heart, right? They are. They're, they're kind of like your children here. Well, you know, getting back to like the Mustang, um, last year we introduced the, the measurement. And part of that series was to continuously go on with the aircraft. Um, so, long story short, the parts that we got from this plane actually came from a private collector up north. Um, unfortunately, he had crashed his plane, and he was the only one that had available parts because, again, people that own a Mustang are millionaires around. Right. They're not going to part with anything. Oh, exactly, yeah. So, we, worked, we brokered a deal basically for me not to ever tell his name. Um, he let me pull some of the pieces out of the aircraft, which basically there's just very, very small percentage of steel in those right. planes. Um, so we were able to get some control rods and things like that. Uh, Chad Nichols uh, is doing the Damascus for us down in Mississippi. Uh, the pattern that we're working on for the blade is actually more of a kind of a complement to what we did for the measurement, where we took the whirlpool pattern and stretched it out, right? Make it look like prop wash. Yeah. Um, of course, you have the teardrop design on top of the blade for the opener. That represents, of course, the cockpit. Yeah. Uh, more Easter eggs, basically the coloring in the shield. You know, that's not Captain America. That's uh, kind of a play into it, but, you know, it, it really kind of glorifies the, the nose of the aircraft right. as identification. Absolutely, yeah. And the red was part of the identification for the division on the tail. Yeah. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful, beautiful. Now, an extension of that, 
is now the Camaro. This one, we actually, uh, the, 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 must, uh, the muscle car Damascus series was actually a, a, a quicker introduction. Um, we were expecting a little bit later, but we decided to come out for this year. Uh, this is the Camaro Z28. Um, I have a private collector that I work with who actually owns several different rebuilds that he's doing. Um, was able to get uh, a lot of the chassis parts, a lot of the torsion bars, uh, parts of the engine. Uh, and again, we take that down to Chad and he, he builds the Damascus for us. The pattern on that is, is to basically kind of give you the expression of you know, speed. Right. Uh, like, a, like a tire burnout, I guess you yeah. could say. You know, and, and it's, it's a thicker you know, Damascus layer that we're running on those. Uh, all aluminum frames, so you know, you really have to put it in your hands to feel it. Yeah. And the, the it, concept was to actually feel like you're touching the car, you know, that yeah. smoothness. It is, I mean, super ergonomic too, especially with that little finger twirl right there. Yeah. God, it just and feels this, so good. And this is good. a play into, you know, more series that we have coming out. Of course, we added, you know, a couple of Easter eggs here. Uh, but, uh, you know, be looking out for, for, for other models the same year and maybe some other years. There we go. So, that is super you, you awesome. You can get it so, out of me later. So, uh, when can we expect to see? Is this one in stores? That one will be available uh, probably mid-spring. Nice. These are all hand-built in Germany right. as well. So, you know, that, that material, that, that, that process or whatnot, there's a lot of buffing apparently right. that has to go with these yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so they, they really craft these down very well. That is absolutely gorgeous. Well, I tell you what, I'm excited to see this in store. I can't wait. And uh, Kenton, I'm excited to see what else you got coming off camera. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about that. We can't uh, get some money on you. Or money? Uh, okay. I got some chips left over okay. from last night. Kitten, thank you so much, Good man. Good buddy. Awesome. Appreciate it. Folks, we'll bring you more from right here at Shot 2023. So, folks, I got Keith here from GSM Outdoors, and we've got some really cool new SOG and uh, cold steel stuff. Some to go really over. cool cold steel stuff. Yeah, some really I mean, cool cold steel let's stuff. Let's just start it off big. That's insane. Pocket sword. Yeah. Mayhem right here. It is going to be available in the AUS 10 and the S35 VN. Uses our Atlas lock system. Take a feel of that. All right. Cold steel is known for big defense weapons, and I don't think there's anything that's got a meaner look than that. That is insane. <laughs> you know, I got to say, so uh, we uh, did an interview with Lynn Thompson at Blade Show West, and uh, the knives that he pulled off of him, I was like, oh my God. He's got like 17 and, on his body yeah, all the it's, time. It's insane, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I can I can see this uh, being on his body very very soon. <laughs> that is amazing. Now yeah. we're we're shooting for third quarter 2023. Third quarter on this one? Yep. Nice. Yes, 35 VN or the Austin. That is awesome. That feels so good in the hand. I, and I tell you, like this continuing on that uh, that pocket sword line. It I is freaking love it. I mean, I, I cannot wait to hack some stuff up with that. Yeah, and that's, it's going to be some fun testing there. You know that Atlas lock system. Uh, of course, we know we have the Trident True Demco Triad yep. lock. Nothing, nothing can even really compare to that until we came out with the Atlas. We have two different lock systems that are fantastic. One of the great things about an Atlas lock system, you know, the Triad locks lock so hard that when you get smaller people, some of the ladies that I cut with, whatever, right. they can't get that depressed. Right. You know, and, and being able to manipulate this much easier is just a benefit. Oh, Plus, yeah. it tested out at 728 pounds. That's amazing. Hanging you know, off of that. That's amazing. Now, let's talk some fun. This is the Swift. I think it's the Swift 2. I, I, I don't know if we've given it that nomenclature yet, but this is the first real assist opening yeah. cold steel piece right there. That is gorgeous. I love the coloring too, with the I green and the black. Yep. It just just looks slick, and so oh wow, yeah. Now we've got the safety right there, yep. safety lock, but oh, that pops out there so <laughs> good. Now when can we expect to see this one? Uh, this one is in route right now, so wow. uh, probably a month or two. Oh, that's insane. That is sick right there. So we're going to see that on shelves very very soon. Very soon. Nice. Next one I'll show you is part of our Viking series, and to feel it and to look at it is is there is true sex appeal in any of the Viking world. Oh, and and when you deal with something like this, it's just a pleasure to carry. Absolutely. And I tell you what, when you first handed me this one just a minute ago, feeling how smooth that yeah. action is, like I cannot explain to you. I can't emphasize enough how smooth that is right there. I mean, you can. It just works. It just works. 
That one's coming in with Aus 10A on the blade steel. Right. And uh, just, that's gorgeous. It and is. the the whole Viking series, is that I'm it really is. excited to see what's going to be coming out of that. Yeah, you, you take the history with modern technology, and then you introduce something that really touches on that whole philosophy, that whole time frame, that whole yeah. era. Now, when can we expect to see these? Hits? They're coming right away, too. Nice. Uh, I'm going to say probably in two or three months they'll be here. That is awesome. Now, changing gears just a little bit. Yes. We've got I the saw Twitch Tom 3. gave you that one. Yeah. That, this is pretty neat. We've got the Twitch 3 and SOG right here. That thing is, that, I mean, it's so it's, small. It's small. It's compact. It's lightweight. But it fits great in your hands. You I get still get four purchase. fingers yep, on it. You get yeah. good purchase with it. Even with how small it is, it's assisted. It's got the flipper on the backside, ambi thumb studs, and oh God, that's insane. Uh, Cryo 154 CM on that one. Yep. Now, when can we expect to see this coming from? Uh, I believe that's the same thing. I think it's in route right that now. That is amazing. Yes. And uh, I tell you what, we were, we've been talking to a lot of people, and they're like, "Well, we're looking, you know, later on this year. We're not real sure. It depends on materials, yep. but." Seeing things in hand and knowing that they're here, yeah, th uh, yes, that's awesome. Uh, that, yeah, that supply chain's been a problem for us, right? And it's now nice to see that turn around. Yeah, that was one of the neat things. You know, everybody was kind of concerned when GSM took over Colt Steel <laughs> and we took over SOG. But our supply chains, in, in our breadth of power of all of our brands, actually helps get yeah. stuff here and, right. and get it done right. I'll show you this one here. This is, I, I don't supposed to be a Cold Steel stick guy. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Ether, oh. S35VN, okay? You have a scale, removable scale, so you can put parachute cord if you want on there. That is nice. And I love the jimping all the oh, way out yes. of the tip. So no matter how big or small your hand is, you can get that uh, finger all Yeah, you can wherever do detail you... work with that. Oh, absolutely. That's gonna be a great hunting knife. Like cleaning game. Oh, four, four, I think it's like four and a half ounces or something like that. Yeah, with that's. The sheet. And uh, I've been talking to a lot of people this week and a lot of hunters, and they're like, you know, ounces equal pounds. And, yeah, it you does. Know, when we're on an elk hunt, hoofing in oh, several miles, my goodness, it makes a huge difference being able to carry everything as light as possible. Exactly. That exactly. Is and nice. you know, one of the neat things that Sog's always been kind of known for is the um, the, the sheath having all the adjustment on Look the back that. of this. So if you want it to be vertical, you can do it. You can spin it. You can carry this thing horizontal. That's what's neat about this adjustment thing. On this sheet right here, it is it is truly a nice way, a great way. Fit on your pack, your belt, whatever Absolutely. you want. Boot. Yeah, so that's the ether. It's that on, is awesome. That's now, on we can way. be on its way as well. Wow. It's insane. And yes. you touched on it a little bit, uh, supply chain stuff. I will, and, I, and I've got to say this. I'll be honest. When GSM first took over, I was like, uh, "Let's see how this goes." I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll see which way the cat jumps. But I got to say, I've been pleasantly surprised and excited. It's been amazing. You guys have done an incredible job. Thank you. With the Cold Steel line, and uh, love everything. All the new stuff coming out is phenomenal, and the quality of the the stuff that's been in the product line is uh, is still amazing and i love that that's that's i i get i get blessed because i get to go out and cut stuff with lynn and train and in fact we were i was just out there uh december 26th through the new year and lynn and i did a whole bunch of stuff we've got a whole bunch of new videos coming out and we're doing a lot of stuff with ballistic dummies so there's going to be some horrific nice. looking graphics coming out yes. but, but one of the things is is lynn has taught me so much yeah. you know i came over from the archery world didn't know much about knives whatsoever and I have been blessed to kind of be pulled under his wing and, and taught by him, you know, and, and you have so much admiration for the guy. Yeah. And, and he's a beast. And like you said, you know, he's carrying everything. You know, if you're ever going to walk around with somebody and feel safe, Lynn's, Lynn, oh. Lynn, is, Lynn is my T-Rex. So Absolutely, I will walk with, yeah. You know? it's <laughs> you go, okay, I feel good yep. walking uh, next to you. Yes. You're like, we're, we're going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, coming from so, my, so myself, I grew up watching all of the DVDs and the VHSs oh, even yeah. of uh, of Lynn and all the Cold Steel videos. Like that was that was he, you know, he's my childhood. He's, I'm I'm 57. I'm not going to say how old Lynn is, but he is still a beast. Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. A, absolutely a beast. I mean, it's one of those things that when you witness him cutting things and you witness him chopping things. There is so much power in yeah. him. I mean, it is unbelievable. He's, it's almost like he's immortal. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yes. Keith, 
thank you so much, man, for taking Thanks time with guys. us. Appreciate and, it. And uh, we are super excited to see all this stuff. Dude, I cannot wait to do some product demonstrations and do some field testing with some of this stuff. This Let me give you one of my cards. Absolutely. Go. Folks, stay tuned for more from right here. Godspeed. Shot 2023. What's happening, folks? Look who I just run into right here. The man, the myth, the legend. You see it, what man. is happening, man? Oh, not much, man. We're, we're kind of cruising around this show. You know, shaking hands, kissing babies, the whole thing. There we deal, go. But, shaking but, babies, uh, kissing hands, yeah. Seeing some new products, so we're stoked. Absolutely. Yeah. So, speaking of new products, and uh, I mean, we've had this one for a while. I've had this one for a little while, and uh, is. I, I absolutely love this thing. This has been uh, my favorite knife over the last year by far. I can't get it out of my pocket, um, and I mean, it just works. What do you guys have in the works? So, uh, we're, we're doing a few more batches with that specific blade shape, the recurve. Right. But coming soon, we've got a more standard blade. Um, <laughs> Gonna call it the XT1 Charlie. So, oh, okay. Yeah, for the masses, you know, that, that's nice. kind of the feedback. But um, I'm a recurve guy. I love recurve blades. Um, they're easier for me to use. So we're gonna keep that going. Right. But as far as our, our next folder, it's gonna be more of a standard blade shape. Nice. So, same awesome. full tie, the whole thing. It's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty badass. Blade. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So as far as fixed blades, what have you guys got well, going on? This year is the year of fixed blades, that's yeah. for sure. So we're uh, we're focusing on very purpose-driven fixed blades. Um, we're launching our Frontline series, which is going to be a culmination of blades that are more purpose-built for uh, like our infantry guys, uh, firefighters, police officers. Um, the first one of that is going to be coming out next month in February, and it's going to be called the Valor Mark One. A big infantry style fighting knife. Um, in addition to that, later in the year we've got a dive knife coming out and uh, we've got a search and rescue blade coming out too. Nice. So, a lot of purpose built stuff this year. That is awesome. Yeah. So, I tell you what, we are super stoked. And this year, and mainly thanks to you guys, because we started off doing our Will It Cut series, which was our torture test, and then uh, we got to you guys the uh, Field 2.0, and we did a torture test on that thing. and. I tell you what, the blade geometry mixed with the blade steel that you guys used, it just, I mean, it worked. CPM 154, Yeah. contrary to what a lot of people think, but the yeah. way we heat treat it, I mean, it is a beast. It's it a is, beast. it absolutely is. And a lot of it has to do with the blade geometry too, right, right. with how much meat you guys put behind that edge. Right. And uh, it really made a difference on that. So that is actually driving us to this year with our channel and with our store doing a lot more product testing and a lot more, I guess, uh, actual field use of a lot of the products, especially the ones that you guys are coming out with. So we are super stoked, thanks to you guys, because we know you guys, and we really appreciate you guys for what you do for the military, for the law enforcement guys. It really means a lot. And uh, not only that, but the way you guys deal with how you do your production, along with the environment. I mean, that's that's right. a really cool aspect. That's a, that's a big one for us this year is is uh, focusing on, on continuing the development of the process, but the technology and the sustainability of our process is super important to us because we are outdoorsmen, we are hunters, and yep. a lot of us are prior military, so, I mean, that's our backyard. So Absolutely. we choose to take care of it. I think last year we recycled something like 30,000 pounds of steel alone. That's insane. Yeah. So. That's insane. I mean, when you talk about, you know, you look around at all the companies and all the steel that's being used around us, not just in knives, but in firearms too, right. and you guys are out there making a huge difference, and uh, I think that means a lot to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, thank Absolutely. you. Yeah, thank you. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah, it's been course. good to see you yeah, guys. Yeah, of course, always. Folks, stay tuned. Tor's got some awesome stuff coming out. And uh, we might have to go diving. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. All right, folks, we're at SHOT Show 2023, and you can't do that without going to see Benchmade. Right. Brady, thank you so much for joining us. Charlie. Yeah, of course. Absolutely <laughs> great to see you. Absolutely, man. So we've got a lot of new stuff from Benchmade coming out this year, and uh, I know everybody's excited to see what we got going on. So let's take a look at uh, what you guys are really excited about. Yeah, for sure. So this top case is all of our new product for 2023. Um, where do you want to start? Should we start up top here at the bug outs or? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go down the line. It looks like we've got some really cool colorings on everything here. Yeah, so we really wanted to push um, the new colors that we're offering. Uh, each color kind of has a story behind. Um, if you look at some of our backdrops, um, right. you know, like nature and uh, things, that, colors and 
things that you'd find in nature. Um, so first thing is one of our new bug outs here, which is in our, our uh, crater blue is what we're calling it. That is gorgeous. S30V on the blade, S30V, steel. S30V, correct. Got a Cerakote on there. So same thing, just in the, I think this is the Alpine Glow is what Alpine we're calling Glow. it. Nice. That's a great color. That's going to be insanely popular this year. Now, when can we expect to see these new colors coming in with these bug outs? So some of these uh, colorways are kind of in sprint runs and will only be offered. Uh, you can book orders up until August. Okay. And then after that, um, we're going to do away with some of the colors. Right. Some of them will remain as inline product, though. Nice. Nice. Were you going to say something, Charlie? There'll be a few. That, as you said, sprint runs are called a seasonal. Right. And right. So have these colors for now, and then after that, they're going to have some more colors, you know, for, nice. for different seasons. So depending on the color and model, it, it, you know, right. some will be in June, some will be in September. Awesome. So. And so I've been looking and see, we've also, we've got that in the bug out and the mini bug out. Correct. So. Yep. Awesome, um, awesome colors. Kind of move down the line, yeah. we have... Uh, we did have the full-size carbon uh, 940, so we wanted to make the mini version, which is the 945. Absolutely gorgeous. This is also an S30V. Or sorry, S90V. S90V, yeah. And I tell you what, I've always loved the Osborne line. Being a rancher and a farm guy myself, I like the story behind that. And I like that blade shape. I mean, it yeah, works. dude. I mean, it is it a works. great, great blade shape and uh, good design too. Now this right here, this is something brand new, brand new, and that looks sick. That is super slim. Yeah. So this is our new narrows, um, titanium scales. Oh, that is insanely thin. very thin. We also have the new uh, sort of axis lock that we've designed, which to be able to fit that within this thin knife right. we had to redesign that right it's also on ball bearings so it's super snappy wow i gotta try this i gotta try this this is gorgeous oh that is so lightweight too. yeah Man, that is insane oh that's satisfying and m390 on the blade steel when can we expect to see these let's take a look i think these will ship or be able to be ordered um it can be ordered now. Launches, Launches in June. Nice. That is beautiful. Excellent right there. And I got to say, our, our hunting series line too, and this kind of falls within that category um, of the, the outdoor line, but uh, I mean, this is, that has been doing really, really well out there. Yeah, the weekend. Really there, loving that Super stuff. cool, uh, yeah. super cool knife we released. This version uh, is going to be one of those sprint runs, and uh, we're offering the micarta scales on this Beautiful. in that kind of burgundy color. We have the bottle opener, yep. essentials, right? Much needed. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> this, I believe, we are doing S90V as well. Nice. That is gorgeous. Now, I remember seeing these, I believe, at Blade Show. Yes. These, uh, these coming up here. Been really excited to see those. So, uh, those, are, those are awesome. Really cool blade shape, but nice little automatics there. Yeah. So, we have quite a, big, quite a bit of different configurations with our immunity family. Um, for our friends in California, we have this uh, you know, legal auto for Cali. Nice. Which is under, I believe, 2.5 inches. 1.98 inches. 1.9. Yep. Um, this also has the lock for the safety on the auto function. Nice. That is awesome. Cool little Easter egg. Our design team likes to have a lot of fun. Um, since this is, you know, was made during the time of COVID and uh, is called the immunity, they also put this little Easter egg of the COVID molecule uh, <laughs> on the pivot screw there. That's great. <laughs> super we have the cool. Manual. These are all offered in, with M4 steel, so super tough. Oh yeah. And then the full size auto as well. Nice. So snappy. That action. All three colors are available with each model. Yeah. 
Next are very popular shootouts. So the shootout's been insanely popular, and now we're going to get to see it in different colors. So we've got the crater blue here. We've got white. Um, sea foam, sea foam, and the red. That red absolutely pops. That, yeah, that it does. Gorgeous. It really does. I really like the black on red too. That's good uh, color combo there. We did get rid of the glass breaker um, and just offered the lanyard. Uh, okay. Lanyard hole on the end. So nice. But the original black still with the carbon fiber elite. Right. This, these are grivery scales. Yeah. On the colors. Still crew wear. So I'm gonna take both of these out at the same time, actually. Um, these may look kind of familiar. So we did the Freak in both of these colorways, but imagine them flipped, right? So right. originally we had offered the Carbon in the Mini, uh, and in the full size we had the G10 scales, um, but we decided to flip them both and, and uh, offer them both in the same sizes and colorways. Nice. So. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That just works. That just works right there. And I love the uh, red liners and the red accents on the spacers right there. Really That's pops. gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, what is this one here? Yeah. So, this is a refresh. Um, it may look kind of familiar. So, it'll be our 585 Mini Barrage. So this is an assisted. Oh, um, yeah. We ended up doing the rich light uh, handles, which is uh, kind of a wood composite. Yep. Has kind of the gold or tan uh, backspacer and thumb stud lock here. Pretty snappy. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's satisfying to say the least. And uh, I tell you what. Rich light is really catching on and uh, is a really cool material. It, I agree. Yeah, I'm, I uh, am looking forward to hopefully snagging one of those. When they oh, absolutely. <laughs> launch out, so. That's really cool right there. Next uh, is our Claymores. So we came out with a Claymore pretty recently and right. we offered them in the drop point uh, blade. But now we're offering them in the Tanto in yeah. both serrated and non serrated as well as black and uh, the OD green. That's going to be a great, great seller for uh, military law enforcement. That's going to that's gonna kill it right there. Yep, so this is that D2 as well, strong steel. Um, fun fact, this is another little Easter egg. Claymores, uh, you know, have the front towards enemy. Yep. And we did that in Braille up here. Yeah. Um, like a real Claymore, so. Absolutely. Now we've got a little, uh, we've got a little uh, smaller action. Yeah, right so here. we have a little mini action going on with the Claymore. Same exact configurations, just in the fun size. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got a really cool out in the front auto right yep. there. Yep. So this is our new OTF we're offering this year, which um, I think is going to do really well. It's the OM. Dual action. Oh yeah. I mean, you could almost fit this thing on a keychain. <laughs> Absolutely. So this will be S30V. We will offer this in both a black blade and silver satin blade. Nice. I don't know if you want to deploy yeah. that. Heck yeah! Absolutely, I do. Oh, it's so light. Like there, and you know, I've talked to a lot of people about this. There, it's it's so much easier. Like so, a lot of people don't have the thumb strength. Um, and so a lot of OTFs that you see are going to be a lot more stiff, but this is easy to actuate. Yeah. And it just pops out. And I there think, too. I think you know, like a lot of people that maybe uh, are sort of intimidated by, you know, bigger OTFs and things right. like that, I think this is a perfect kind of get your feet wet starter OTF That's awesome to, right to go with. So. Absolutely. Next is our sock P line. So uh, these are our. Sock key blades, these will come with a sheath as well. Um, we'll offer these in both serrated and non serrated, as well as the black and uh, tan. But clips in pretty good. You could fit this on, you know, a pack or a vest. G10 uh, scales, very grippy with some texture on them. 
and the awesome 3V steel as well. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, and I was just saying this in a video the other day. We were talking about 3V blade steel, and I discounted it for so long. I was, I was like, yeah, it's all right, but I'd never really used it. And then I did some torture testing with it and really put it through its paces, and I was like, man. It's There's tough. a reason why this stuff is popular, and I tell you what, this year I feel like is going to be the year for 3V. I mean, there, there's a there's a lot of people really digging 3V and what it's capable of, and uh, I tell you, I'm right there with it. And I think that's a phenomenal steel choice for that blade right there. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice one. Speaking of 3V, we also have our Shot Show Limited Knife, yeah, which is also in 3V. So we're doing this on the bailout this year. And this nice orange with the blue accents that definitely gorgeous. really pops. Oh yeah, and love those handles. I've always loved the bailout handles. That's always been one of my favorites. Here's sort of another refresh we got going on. I'm super pumped for these. This is the CLA. Um, we're doing G10 handles. We're also offering this with the new uh, Magna Cut steel. Nice. So it's going to have great edge retention, very strong, uh, and, and uh, good toughness. And then uh, corrosion resistance is a big one too. Yeah, absolutely. And I love I love the color combination there with the pocket clip and the accents. Yep. So this white one will be one of those sprinted runs as well. Um, the green one will remain as an inline product, and you'll be able to uh, order that throughout the year as well. That's awesome. Whoops, looks like we lost one. <laughs> That's going to be tough <laughs> to get. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it does. Let's replace it with this one. So next is our Raghorn. This is in G10 as well. Yeah. Love those Raghorns, uh, S30V. So this will be our Grizzly, I think it's the Grizzly, Grizzly Creek, yes. Yeah. This will have the seatbelt cutter as well. the action on those and the, the classic wood handle yeah like, very classic like, so this is diamond wood it's kind of like a composite as well composite right. wood um, really tough stuff if uh, you know any of those chip or break off you can send it in and we'll replace it for free as long as it wasn't misused right exactly <laughs> exactly now that that is gorgeous so these are our new tagged outs. Uh, you guys might be familiar with the original tagged out we had released. Yeah. Which had the uh, thumb hole CPM 154. But for 2023, we're doing the green handles with the, uh, I believe it's S45. But this one will come in Magna Cut. Nice. The carbon fiber scales. Magna cut and then got the coated black. Like that just looks super slick. Yeah. Got the orange accent on the backspacer there. That's beautiful. And super lightweight too. Which I mean works perfectly for that tagged out line. That's that's nice. And then for the last two here we have the flyway. Which is gonna be kind of geared towards, you know, uh, small game. That bird and trout knife. And we brought back the altitude as well. Yes. The altitude has got full scales now. Yes. Full scales. So before we saw it, ninety V. They were kind of abbreviated, but uh, now we're seeing full carbon fiber all the way down. Scalloped right there, so you can get a nice uh, pinch on it, pinch grip. Got the uh, jimping out on the on the toe end there, so you can get nice finger in there, for cleaning game stuff like that. That's that's why I love love the way you guys design these that is fantastic both of those will be s90v and also obviously come with sheets so. that is awesome 
Brady, thank you so much for taking of course, time out of your day. Of course, thank you Charlie, guys for swinging always, by. Great to always see you. Always a pleasure. And uh, we'll see you soon. Absolutely. Folks, we'll be back with more.